Cool. So, uh, my name is Nicolas Petrivanis. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate at the Institute of Applied Biosciences in Thessaloniki, Greece. This is the first time I'm presenting at the Bioconductor Conference, and I represent LeanNetSpot, detecting SARS CoV 2 lineages in uh, an occasional loading municipal wastewater. So, to begin with, uh, let's start by uh, what exactly is LeanNetSpot? Uh, LeanNetSpot is an R packet that uh, aims to identify and assign different SARS CoV 2 lineages in wastewater samples based on the um, reported amino acid mutations. Having this in mind, um, I would like to begin on how this idea came up. Uh, here you can see the COVID-19 situation in Greece since the beginning of the pandemic. As you can see, we had different number of cases depending on the period and different variants coming up again and again. Greece, uh, try to use PCR-based methods and clinical NGS sequences in order to monitor the whole situation. We quickly realized that this kind of methods were not scalable in the whole country, and especially when new variants uh, arise, like the old variant. So uh, we started thinking of alternative ways to uh, track the virus and detecting uh, SARS-CoV-2 load in wastewater and identify its different variants in wastewater it was uh, an idea that came up. So this is how LinuxBot was born, actually. A very quick overview of uh, the input and the output of the tool. The tool accepts two inputs, a list of PCF files, each one corresponding to a different sample and containing uh, mutations and a, a list of reference files, each one corresponding to uh, SARS-CoV-2 lineage, which is, be, uh, is being used as a reference uh, source. So once the analysis is performed, lineage produces a table that quantifies the SARS-CoV-2 lineages on, in every uh, sample that was given as input. Here is a more detailed overview of the overall workflow. As I already said, LeanSpot takes CS input VCF files. It should be noted here that apart from the nucleotide variant uh, mutations, uh, each VCF file should be annotated with the amino acid mutations. Outbreak info and, pan and pangolin, mostly outbreak info, uh, are being used as reference sources. For every uh, lineage of interest, there is a file with, uh, containing the gene and the corresponding amino acid mutation. And once the analysis is performed, a table is produced quantifying its lineage, uh, uh, its lineage presence in every sample. Now, in order to succeed in this quantification, we need to find three metrics based on the allele frequency. Uh, as allele frequency, uh, we mean the number of reads a particular amino acid mutation has occurred at a specific position by the total number of uh, reads at this position. So, the first metric is the average allele frequency that the characteristic mutations of uh, lineage of interest uh, have. The second Uh, you went back on mute, Nicholas. I don't know why this is happening. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, if you want me to go a step, uh, previous step, or just right here? Uh, I think. We heard up to here. Cool. Okay. So as I said, we defined three metrics to quantify the lineage abundance. Uh, the first one is the average allele frequency of the uh, characteristic, characteristic mutations of every uh, lineage of interest. The second one is the average allele frequency by excluding 
common mutations that occur uh, among the lineages that we gave, we gave as reference to the two. And the second one, and the third one is the minimum allele frequency uh, of these unique mutations by excluding any zero frequency mutations. Uh, we applied cleaner spot in 14 wastewater samples across a six month period in the Saloniki. Uh, the tool was applied in samples from December 2020 till May 2021. On the right, there is a heat map of the containing the characteristic mutations of the alpha variant. And on the left, uh, there is the you can see the average allele frequency of the alpha variant during this period. In both cases, the results from uh, linear spot came in agreement with the related clinical data that we had during that time. Uh, in particular, Saloniki uh, was dealing with the alpha variant and a small part of the delta variant uh, during that time. This is a very quick overview of how to use LinetSpot. Of course, you can download it through the PyCodapto repository. And you can simply call the LinetSpot function by providing uh, the VCF uh, folder containing the VCF file and the folder containing the reference uh, files of the, the lineage of interest. Uh, LineageSpot is kind of new, so there's still a lot of work that we would like to do. Our main focus is to integrate the package with the Outbreak Info, which is also a package uh, under development by the Outbreak Info team. And of course, we would like to cooperate with other teams in Europe that work on wastewater surveillance. Uh, during this project, a different number of people have been working coming from different backgrounds. The main work was conducted by the Institute of Applied Sciences and the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. And finally, I should say that Linus Board has been published at scientific reports. You can uh, read uh, the paper online, and of course, it has been submitted to the conductor repository. Thank you all for your attention. Sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for a very